Good morning everybody and welcome to morning prayer, the daily prayer that, uh, that we say to help us ground ourselves as the, as the day unfolds. This morning we're just going to say daily prayer. There'll be no reflection on the readings. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sin and heals all your infirmities? Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion? Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's? The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for evermore. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm for this morning is number 81. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Sing merrily to God our strength. Shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Take up the song and sound the timbrel, the tuneful lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon as at the full moon open our solemn feast day. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob, the charge he laid on the people of Joseph when they came out of the land of Egypt. I heard a voice I did not know that said, I eased their shoulder from the burden, their hands were set free from bearing the load. You called upon me in trouble and I delivered you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and proved you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth, and I shall fill it. But my people would not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I sent them away in the stubbornness of their hearts and let them walk after their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. Then I should soon put down their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate the Lord would be humbled before him and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed from the finest wheat and with honey from the rock would I satisfy them. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Father of mercy, keep us joyful in your salvation and faithful to your covenant. And as we journey to your kingdom, ever feed us with the bread of life, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The reading is from the book of Numbers, 
chapter 20, verses 1 to 13. The Israelites, the whole congregation, came into the wilderness of Zin in the first month, and the people stayed in Kadesh. Miriam died there and was buried there. Now there was no water for the congregation, so they gathered together against Moses and against Aaron. The people quarrelled with Moses and said, Would that we had died when our kindred died before the Lord. Why have you brought the assembly of the Lord into this wilderness for us and our livestock to die here? Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to bring us to this wretched place? It is no place for grain or figs or vines or pomegranates, and there is no water to drink. Then Moses and Aaron went away from the assembly to the entrance of the tent of meeting. They fell on their faces and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, Take the staff and assemble the congregation, you and your brother Aaron, and command the rock before their eyes to yield its water. Thus you shall bring water out of the rock for them. Thus you shall provide drink for the congregation and their livestock. So Moses took the staff from before the Lord as he had commanded him. Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock and he said to them, Listen, you rebels, we shall bring water for you out of this rock. Then Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock twice with his staff. Water came out abundantly and the congregation and their livestock drank. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust in me, to show my holiness before the eyes of Israelites. Therefore, you shall not bring this assembly into the land that I have given them. These are the waters of Meribah, where the people of Israel quarreled with the Lord, and by which he showed his holiness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take from you the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Hallelujah. The second reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. Soon afterwards, he went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died and was being carried out, he was his mother's only son, she was a widow, and with her was a large crowd from the town. When the, la the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward, touched the bier, and the bier stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, a great prophet has risen among us, and God has looked favourably on his people. This word about him spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. We say the Benedictus. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. 
he has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Let us pray. So we pray as we pray at morning prayer first for the day and its tasks. We pray for everything that we have to do today. We pray for the people that we meet. We pray that we may be seen as that light, the light of God, that in our dealings with other people, we may deal with them honestly and honourably. Lord God, protect us as we go into this day. Keep us safe. Help us to be your light in the world. Amen. And we pray next for the world and its needs. We see a world that in many ways appears to have gone mad. We pray for all the leaders who are coming to terms with the new way in which we need to live our lives. We pray for those who are suffering from uh, COVID-19 and any other disease. We pray for all those who are caring for them. We pray that our politicians may meet the needs of our health services, both here in England and around the world, that the underinvestment in health services may become corrected as we go into the future, so that our populations may be held safe. Lord, you instruct us to look after the orphan and the widow and the resident alien. Let us, as we go into the world, perform that and look out for each other. We pray for our politicians, that they may seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for the church and her life. We pray for the church, not as the buildings which we see as we drive around, but the people that together form the communities of Christians who meet on a regular basis, whether in person or whether online. We pray that they may be strengthened, that they may be focused, that their love for you may be increased. We pray that they are effective in the world. In North Shubury, we pray for our neighbours, we pray for the Salvation Army Church just across the green and we pray for Friars Baptist Church. Together we minister in the North Shubury area. We pray for their ministers, we pray for their congregations and members. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. The Collect for today. O God the King of Glory you have exalted your only Son Jesus Christ with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. That's the end of morning prayer today. So keep safe. Keep two metres distant from all other people. Stay at home where you can. Keep washing your hands. Stay safe. Keep clean. God bless.